hi guys welcome to my video so guys today i want to show you how you can make um african black soap that will come in that perfect way to uh clean your scalp it tangle your hair you know in that form that we all want our hair to come after you shampoo your hair and guys because you know africa black uh, shampoo soap anyway um the ph is that high that it can strip off your hair and also make your scalp to come that dry after you shampoo so this is the reason why that's let me say i don't normally do african um shampoo with to shampoo my hair anyway that's what i mean to say so because of that reason because i naturally have dry scalp okay i naturally have dry scalp so well this time i figure out something which i'm going to show you guys today is uh making it um with flaxseed gel flaxseed gel is nutrition so guys i'm going to add like um two spoon of flaxseed gel okay i'm going to boil this with my marshmallow roots this is to help for nutrition, for sheen, for healthy hair growth. As you guys know, we all are trying to grow our hair that healthy. So this is my marshmallow root. I'm going to add also two spoon of marshmallow root as two spoon of my uh, flour seed. So I'm going to take this to boil. This video was uh, requested by a subscriber that has been asking me to do uh, this kind of uh, African uh, black shampoo. I, I asked her if I can do a DIY because the traditional form, I don't know how they make it, okay? And she said, oh, it's okay. So, although I have many videos about how to mix, but this very one is another method which is very, very super duper. It's going to come like that professional consistency. That you are going to love it so so right now i have two spoon of flaxseed gel flaxseed i mean two spoon of marshmallow roots so i'm going to go with um one cup of water to boil it halfway i already have my boiled water this is to speed up the process so i'm going to put on sorry guys i'm just doing stupid stuff right now let me put on my flame so to speed it up i'm going to pour boiled water but this is not the water that we need in this whole process okay this is first to boil my uh, marshmallow root and my flaxseed gel for 10 minutes okay after that i'm going to come back to add every other ingredients inside this um, um flaxseed and marshmallow marshmallow roots so this is just to infuse to bring out uh, the the nutrition the uh, property that are in this marshmallow root and flaxseed gel so by the time we got our uh, let me say ingredients that has been infused in this water from here we are going to do the next thing so as you can see it has start to pop up a little bit because I speed this process up by boiling my water first so just give it a step cover this is going to be step by step guys just be patient to watch everything i'm going to do because the, the end of this video is going to determine what we are doing right now and it's, you are going to love it you are going to love it okay so guys here we are after 10 minutes so practically i went ahead to low my flame so remember this guys when you are doing yours remember to lower your flame because if not everything is just going to split out so my uh product almost split out i have to run <laughs> and just you know lower my flame and clean up <laughs> my gas so i just remember i should have okay so right now as you can see the consistency should come like so because we are still going to cook this along with our black african soap so right now this is my black african soap i'm using a half cup okay so 
remember when you are doing um when you are making your soap with crock pots that's your casting soap when like i don't know if you some of you watch my video of when i made a casting a castile soap so when you are melting down your castile soap this is the same method of melting this down but mostly people don't know the quantity of uh, to use to melt down your african black soap so it will come that thick and you know soft like um a commercial soap like those professional black soap you can buy out there so right now i want to show you how to make it come thick smooth and you know um jelly like as if you add um your zander gum or those jelly powder so thicken your soap so i'm going to melt this down that is why i said you will need hot water to melt it down so now i'm going to come in with another full cup one cup of hot water so after that i'm just going to low my flame and let the soap melt down like when you are melting your castile uh, thick soap just go in like this with another one cup just give it a gentle stir so that you don't allow the the soap to form out okay so just make it this way you see how uh, with the flaccid gel is going to come jelly So just go like so because you know um when flaccid gel is cold it turns to have that thick gel with lumps so we are going to avoid that by you know gauging the the percentage with water so i've gone in now with two cup of water one cup to boil the flaccid and then um, marshmallow roots so i add my my soap in one cup again to melt just to melt this so just low your flame i said like when you are using your crock pot to melt your castile soap to come that liquid okay so just stir and stir like so gently guys we don't need to allow the foamy to come up so I'm going to be checking for the slimy and swell because we need to allow it to come that slimy. So right now, I'm just going to cover to melt. It might be one hour, it might be two hours, it might be 30 minutes. Just depend on um, when the whole thing melts down. The next thing I'm going to add in here is my oil. You can add any oil of your choice, okay? So I'm going to add uh, one spoon of olive oil. This is for moisture. Although with the flask seed already is going to leave moisture in your hair and nutrition and to, it's going to uh, protect your hair from stripping out. So I'm going to add my uh, olive oil, just one spoon guys, not more than that. If not, it's going to also break down the foamy parts. So give it a stir like so. So right now, another thing I want to explain here is that, but um, as I was saying, by the time our soap is cooling down, it's going to come thicker, okay, because of the flax seed and the marshmallow roots. So by the time it comes thicker, it's going to look that somehow because you guys know that flax seed, as I said before, when it cools, it's going to form some kind of lumps of gel so to avoid that we are going to go gradually you are going to gauge according to the consistency you want but what i'm going to do right now for me i think this is okay okay as a shampoo this is okay you don't need to add anything all right so but if you want it to come lighter than this you can add just little cold water and stir that is to uh, start to cool it down so for now i am okay like so. so i'm just going to strain and uh wait for it to cool and as from here i will put it into my bottle that's all so right now guys i'm going to see if it has cooled down a little bit but it's still hot but at least 
I can sieve right now to go with the second process by separating the flax seed and the, the marshmallow root from uh, our soap. So just go ahead like so. Just press to help you know, pass through the strainer because remember that flash seed can be um, pressed out or strained well when it's still uh, warm. By the time it's cold, it's going to come that thick that will allow you to press it out like so. does it so I'm okay this form. so as I was saying guys check out the consistency okay check it out so right now I'm going to add just a little bit of cold water in it to make it to come at least let's gauge the consistency because it's still hot now this is why it's like so now another thing is that if you want to mix if you want to keep this you can keep it the way it is right now but remember it's going to take many anytime you want to use in future you have to always download that's download it with some percentage and get the quantity sorry the consistency that you would uh, want it to come Another thing I also forgot is that please don't use the tap water to mix it if you want to keep it. Except you want to use it the same day you can use tap water. But if you want to keep it or you want to sell it, I would advise that you use, sorry, you use um, distilled water or a drinking water. So I use distilled water. I didn't, uh, I forgot to talk about that uh, very part at the beginning. So right now this is the consistency we are having. So guys, I'm going in with half cup of water, but I don't think I'm going to pour every time. I'm just going to go gradually like so and give it a gentle mix. As you can see, it has started to thicken. So just go with a gentle mix like so. Just to avoid the foaming to come up, okay? I can go with okay so this is how you can get at least to see the consistency because with the cold water is going to start to come away okay check that guys I really, really, really love this idea. Uh, I really want to thank you, girl. Um, sorry if I didn't look at your name. Anyway, thank you so much for bringing this idea to my mind. So when she asked for African black soap, I said, "Wow, well, I have done, I have done so many videos, but I just say, okay, let me figure out something gen, something uh, new, genuine, and something very, very that can can, can also be used in a professional way." okay for me this consistency is super duper okay now so this is super duper okay so let me just test for the for me okay so that's it is for me so i just raise my hand it's going to leave your skin to come that oh my god I just feel my skin is so so uh smooth guys wow this can also be used on your skin <laughs> anyway so right now um yeah this came out very well so right now i'm going to pour it into my jar so guys i hope you love this video you know what to do subscribe share this video for someone you know it might be useful too thank you for watching as usual god bless you Bye -bye.